the office of Senator Marilyn Chase and her legislative assistant, Tara Jo Heineke. I'm sorry we're not available to take your call right now. Please leave your name, a number you can be reached at, and the best time to call, and we'll return your message as soon as possible. Have a great day. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Yes, this is Darren Ray Fonso, phone number 425-252-3934. I have talked to you in the past regarding workers' comp. You kind of led me on for a year and a half and told me that you thought we this was a subject that needed a light shined on it, that we needed hearings and investigations. I'm asking you now, almost two years later, ma'am, where are the hearings and the investigations? And beyond that, one of the reasons you stated to me in an email that you sent me that you guys were very busy, you and Louise, uh, Marcos Louise or whatever his name is, one of the other senators, or Kong represents whatever they are, or are too busy helping the fishermen of our state uh, get some stuff done, which is honorable and, and respectable and needs to be done, and they need help too. But they are self-employed employers. And the help I'm trying to get you to help us with is the harm that's happening to probably those employers' deckhands, lady. So you are too busy trying to help basically my employers, but not want to help the deckhands. And when I'm bringing something to you that's harming the deckhands. But you, you tell me you're too busy helping the businessman who may be employing some deckhands that are being harmed in workers' comp, but you were too busy helping these other men because they needed some help. And I'm cool with that. Those men work very hard. They're self-employed. They do deserve the help. But on the other hand, you do not turn your face on their deckhands who are injured on the job needing that system to be fixed because you're too busy trying to fix the system for the employer. Where are your priorities, ma'am? Are you there for the employers? Are you there for us workers? I want to know. Because that, that's part of the problem. We have a whole business community that is, that is harming injured workers over the last 30 years. And the statistics are proving that. Where business and the business community and ALEC and the Chamber of Commerce have eroded our grand bargain away to a point that it's no longer a value to us workers. The deckhand, lady! Now, you can help the employer. But you don't want to help me, the deckhand. But you can lead my ass on and string me along like you're going to help me and smile at me while you stab me in the back by not doing nothing and remaining silent as this harm is happening to injured workers and throwing people to our street, making them fucking homeless, and you do not give a damn. We're here cost-shifting these people off from workers' comp, off to the Social Security programs, to the federal fucking roles, at the same place those self-employed employers will look at us and say, look at those stinky little guys. They're trying to not work. Well, it's not because we're not wanting to work. It's because we're not giving bulk anymore. We're not being retrained. You have People have cut out all the services and everything that the, the grand bargain was there for. It's been eroded away. And even the Democrats are sitting and smiling at us as this goes on. Ma'am, I would like you to do the hearings and the investigations that you told me needed to be done. And you put that in writing. Now, where are they? I'm an injured worker. I'm a harmed victim of a state of an oppressive state Alec made... Work comp and med tort laws that you do not want to address. We have doctors lying to deny to harm us in our freaking care and deny us of the goods and services we have paid for for 30 fucking years in premiums. We are being ripped off here. And now, by God, you get off your ass and you stand up for the people and quit telling me you got to ask the business community for permission to help fucking injured workers. You can go help the, the self-employed fishermen, but you don't want to help the fucking deckhands that fall off and hurt themselves or get ripped up in some other way trying to do that hard fucking job. No, ma'am, you need to get your priorities straight. You need to quit smiling at me and tell me you're going to help the poor, you're going to help the infirm as you stab us in the fucking back with your silence. Give us a call back, Darren Ray Fon. So I'm going to put this on the net and share it with the world to show them you do not care, ma'am. Have a great day. To accept and set message options, press 1. To replay, press 2. To send now, press the pound key. To mark as high importance, press 1. To return to the pre message marked as high importance. To send now, press the pound key. To mark as normal message sent. Goodbye. Okay, well that's uh, another phone call to another leader in our state that likes to act like they want to help us, pretends that they're going to help us, yet doesn't do a thing to help us. What we need is some hearings. What we need is some investigations. What we need is the truth and cut other politicians... Democrats and Republicans to quit using the oppressive ALEC laws to harm us. What we need is somebody to compare the ALEC laws that were implemented over the last 20 years, state by state, and the federal ones as well, and compare those side by side with the 
uh, suicide rates, with the rise in homicides, with the rise in uh, violence on medical care providers, with the rise on mm, violence against police officers even that has gone on, uh, is raised. What we're doing is we're creating a war between the poor and the rich, and, 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 and our leaders are not wanting to correct the situation. This is a class war, and ma'am, you very much are a part of that, and uh, your silence speaks volumes at this point. Between you, Sawant, and Jill Stein, none of you can come out and speak up for labor and, and, and help labor and the injured workers. You laugh at us, and you shun us. And you pretend to like you're going to help us when you don't do a damn thing. That's not helping, Marilyn. That's being a fucking hypocrite. And by God, you need to not be that way, man. Why don't you have a great day? And why don't you think about a little bit what I told you here. Uh, because I'm going to educate all the freaking progressive Democrats of this state and the Bernie Crads. That, ma'am, you are against injured workers because you do not choose to stand up and fight for us. And speak up for us. Instead... You placated me for a year and a half. We could have got a lot of shit done. We could have stopped injured workers from being harmed right now. Every day, tomorrow, somebody else is getting injured and fucked over and dragged to this thing and driven mentally fucking insane. Is that cool? Is that a system that's working that we're driving, depriving men of the goods and services they paid for, blocking the civil roads for justice for them to get uh, regressed for the harm that's been done to them? That is a class war. This is not cool. That is basically oppression if it was done in any other fucking country. We would go to war over it, bitch. Now, by God, you pull your head out of your asses and you start standing up for the laborers in this fucking state. Good day.